Alright, good evening po. I-video ko yun yung pamangawa ang backing. And yung painting ng gewang ka na ako para gurang kong Pablo Rosas. So yun nga. Yung gewang ko itong painting ko na ito. Meko kaya uling gamit ng kaya masanting na frame ay ni. Okay? Nakatogyo po na. Kumakarili ito yun yung video. Ito ang kasabit ko kaya sala ko. Kaya kung gawa ko niya itong dating painting ngayon ito, simple na mo. Pero yung burili, kabit kaya tapin aray at view ang painting ng Joe Paul. Okay? So, in size na 36 by 48. So, what that means, in cornering kaya ni mas masanting itong enet, what? 45 degree. Uling for second. So, ngayon yung allowance na ni ni, yun ni siyempre 48 o, ngayon yung takas umang doling 36 siya, bawasan na yung 1 and a half, ulit na rin yung adwang ni nga buwang 3-4. Ngayon yung kagamitan mo ngayon yung dapat din yung T-square ang mga na, T-square. So, ngayon yung niyayali yung kasing Brad Naylor. Kanya na pang abuli si Mobra kayo yun eh. Okay, to make sure natin kung yan ako babas. Para yan ako mag-refill. Yan eh, one and three quarter yung balas, so malalam niya. Malalam niya dahasan yun eh. Yung nasang gamitan ko yun eh, yun naman, ang galang one and a half, yun naman dahil ang fastening, itang dahil ang botang itang canvas, makanini na rin itang balas na. Diyan, itang U-shape lo. Alam mo, pag-passing ka rin ang upholstery, kaya ka naman dito. But anyway, Anya sa mga kabilising pa mga wakay ni, siya pero pinuot ko na rin, na rin direct ang grace kaniyan, cornering ba rin masikam, ang buhuy ni house kaniyan, ano ang Brad Naylor? Jan ade ni recommend recommendation kaniyan ni, every day ba yung mga gamit ang jan mo kaniyan lubricating ulit na ni tang danum king air, uling nong ali. Ipakait ang pisto na kayo, wala, maripangan yung mayat yun. Hindi mo niyagamit, muling ma-stack it ang pisto. So everyday by your mega meter, about a few drops of oil. It's a special oil for pneumatic pills right there. Not any kind of oil, okay? But if you don't have any of this, I guess you can use the WD-40 or whatever oil you got available. But this is specially made for these nomadic tools. Any, any nomadic tool. So what I do, the main safety thing about here, you don't put this other hand close to that where it kind of hit it, okay? Because sometimes the uh, nail will just shoot up where your finger is. I have a lot of good stories about this. So make sure, just be aware of that. You have to stay away from it, okay? Normal. That's all you need to do, just go uh, every corner, just nail them, just nail every corner, right there, two each, two each, two each. By the time you uh, nail all this bracing and all that, it will be a strong couple that happen here, I'm coming. There you go. It's shooting that because it's angled, so I have to lift it up. Okay, this one too, this one's okay. All right, this is all there's to it. It won't take long as after you cut them. And because of all these tools that you have, oh, it's so easy to work anything here in America. Easy. Just like anything can be. I have to raise this up though, because it's shooting downwards and the nails are not straight, so. There you go. Okay. Now, of course, this middle one I already measured the 24 inches. This kind of eyesight. This is going nowhere. All right. These are all to uh, brace it other to make this uh, uh, simple frame to be stable enough and sturdy. And uh, this is all there's to it. I mean. Uh, you can take your time. I can do anything I want to. That's what happened when you retired. 
and you know all kinds of things to do, you won't get bored. I mean, anything you want to do, it saves you a lot of money too. Because special thing like this, I don't know who makes them, so that's the way it is. A lot of people say I can do things because I have a lot of tools, but that's only around 10% of that. The thing about it, you have to know what you're doing. At the same time, uh, you have that uh, talent, they call it whatever it is, ingenuity or something like, my mom is a seamstress, so I guess about measuring and anything that I do is I got it from her. Like uh, anything, the pattern that I need to do, that's why I don't really have any plan every time I do something. And um, I'm so happy about that, you know? Because in the dressmaking, you have to know what you're doing too. Padrun. But that's also take a lot of skills. You can't just do that. Because here in America, you just buy the pattern where it's already cut and then you follow it with your uh, material. But here, my mom used to use only Jariu uh, newspapers. I don't see this. I remember that. I think she is. See? She's the one. First, a Kenmore electric sewing machine, and uh, because she did some uh, uh, sewing in uh, Clark Air Base, and I'm happy about that too. Because sometimes he'll take me spend a weekend getting a nice cream Kelly, and that is nice like that thing just because of my mom's trade being a seamstress, that is senora. Retang amo na. Oy, ni ako, amo ko naman kay. Tapos mo kanya naman itong amo ko. Amo ng mamiti, amo ng tong. Amo ng maningat anak. O yan ang amo. O ang retard ko. Amo ko. Alright. Kailangan na sa mukha naman kasi pag huling ma-fire up. Ito ma-amo. Rolling so... See, that nail went through. What if my finger is in the air? Oh man, I didn't just have to shoot myself. Well, I guess I can do my lot of work in that. I mean, I need a hammer now. Oh, there it is. Do you know why my hammers are painted red? Because a lot of time I don't know where I put them and I can't see them. It's kind of messing me up a lot of time because I'm so forgetful these days and, um, well, as far as going on, can't do anything about that. I guess it's like a computer, my brain is all pegged out, and uh, yeah, I need some memory. I need some more memory banks, but that's okay. It's not, it's not hard anymore, life is so easy, and it's so cool being blessed to be retired. I don't have to work for anybody anymore. Except for my wife. All right, it's understood. See how easy that is. I hope you won't be bored long enough that I can. Uh, maybe I'll do that part two, or because I need to set up this uh, to protect that painting. I need to put some uh, material here, like a tip floating. I don't want to get scratched. And I'll just do that part two. Yeah, I need to put this underneath, so I'm going to set up right now, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is, oh, by the way, let me show you the backing I was talking about. Here it is. That's the backing, see? One, two, no. It's just like this, okay? Okay, this is the old thing. This is my painting that I took out of that wall. See, all right? I bought this in Sam's. It's a 3D because it's got all this build up paint. Very cheap though because they're in comes in volume. Only about 250. But also look at this. See this is the one I copy back here. Eh? Got that. Alright, exactamundo. And now ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our video instruction how to do a backing for a painting size 36 by 48. 
Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat mga kaibigan. Ito po ang abang, yung abang lingkod, si Redentor de la Cruz, nagpupugay sa inyo ng uh, happy day. Bye-bye. Salamat po kayong pamakirandam niyo. <laughs>